Hello YouTube. So uh, I had a guy give me a couple of these parts. They're decommissioned off a, off a Bell 210 helicopter. So I thought they'd be pretty cool to melt down and make something out of. And they're only 6,600 bucks each. So I'll turn that into a couple $5 beer coasters. And here's the part here. And it's somewhere here in the tail boom of the Bell 210. I figure I'm gonna make a make a few coasters for the boys down at the hangar there, and this is a design we kind of came up with. It's a logo they fly on one of their choppers. Anyway, I did a few revisions, and I ended up eventually landing on this size here, which is pretty close to my rolling rock. So, so I figured just doing some weights and stuff, I should be able to get six of these at least out of this maybe seven so i got a bunch made up they're ready to go i got them over there hanging up drying uh, i just glued a sprue on and then dip coated them in in thin down drywall plaster so I'll give you a shot of what i got over there so these have been double dipped Ooh. I got uh, I got a bunch of these. Also got uh, you might recognize this Cruiser Mac. Some more of those. I got yeah, some more of those. Another Cruiser Mac. Some Rolling Rocks. Some more Rolling Rocks. Another Rolling Rock. Another Cruiser Mac. And. This gnome, go away. <laughs> Boop. All right, another light nighttime melt.
look. Pretty good. Looking good, yeah. Couple of little bubbles there. Four in here, two and two. Very little fire, that's nice. You can see it's sinking down, eh? As it mm -hmm. takes it. Yeah. Oh, look at that one going. That's it. 14 grand. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Rob. <laughs> well, we thought this guy failed. I was sure it failed and I didn't film the reveal, but here we go. There's Eway's mic right there. Look at him. He's looking pretty good. <laughs> Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. There was a couple uh, air bubbles. No doubt. He's, he's cleaning them up. Well, here they are. Um, cleaned up I did have some issues um, when I did my second coating it was late and normally I'd come back and check on them and make sure there's no bubbles but you can see there's quite a bit of bubbling in the second coating which these were right full of little BBs and stuff a lot of them came out pretty easily and some of them some of them ended up putting a putting a, a router bit in, in the drill press and going in and, and picking away at them. And, but they worked out. They're looking pretty good. They all look very much the same. So I'm happy with that. And here's uh, E-Waste Mike. He's pretty cool, turned out. Some writing we did on the foam in the back. Yeah, so anyway, um, that's it, I guess, for this, and I'll see you next time.